I'm interested in people and I'm interested in portraits. And so my images are centered around people. There's kind of classical approaches to portraiture photography. And then there's also kind of approaches around stage realism. And I guess in some ways a tension or a conflict between the two. Ideally, everyone's bringing their personal experiences primarily to their, to their work, and that's what it's about. And whenever I'm kind of shooting people and I'm looking at my pictures, I'm all, it's, it's almost like a puzzle I'm trying to figure out, the way people work, the way people think, um, and how you can kind of reflect that in, a, in an image. And so I'm always interested in the idea of kind of having conversations with people. I guess that's what I bring to that work, that kind of fascination with human psyche and human behavior and human gesture. And in this top image is from a series called Act 2, Scene 7, where I found different characters at different stages of life, and they told me a story from their life, and if that story really interested me, then what I basically tried to do was kind of reinterpret that image or restage that image. Um, and so this image, for me, embodies you know, some elements of stage, staged imagery, but also portraiture, because it's a story from their life. And in this bottom image, there's almost like a series of research images, like a precursor to Act Two, where I became, became interested in this idea of portraiture and staging. And so in this image, you can obviously see it's a young person jumping, which is kind of quite a free thing, something that particularly a documentary photographer would typically try to catch. But I've still managed to um, place lights in and control the image to some extent. I'm quite interested in the language of commercial photography and the aesthetic of virtual photography. I know art photographers generally don't say that, but I am, because um, you're widely exposed to it. And then also classic um, portraiture, you know, Avedon and his approach to portraiture. At the same time, looking at people who stage, people like Jeff Wall, Mitra to Brizian and Gregory Crewson and, and those kind of people there. It's about taking those influences and, and taking your own personal influences and trying to find something new within, within those genres. You know, it's amazing to be part of the book and the whole Regeneration Project. It's great to be exposed to your peers in, um, you know, from different countries, different universities and colleges, getting a chance to meet them, interact with them, forge links. That's a really great opportunity. And obviously having our work exhibited in New York is one of the major hubs of photography, London, New York, Germany, you know, they're all kind of major photographic hubs. And so to have our work in the Aperture Gallery is just really, really great for us. All of the work looks very considered, very thought about. Maybe that's a reflection of coming out of, of schools and universities and because that's the, that was the recruitment process for the exhibition.